Is he smiling in front of your boat? boat. Is that your boat? Like dogs, but they're on the train track, nowhere near us. But Bernie will still create. Yep, he will still create. He he tends to create on uh, most things. Our little Ernie. Um. Anyway, this vlog wasn't intentionally um going to be about Ernie, but I've got so much footage this week that along with the usual renovations you'll see and a cruise that we go on, I've just put a couple of little pointers um on what um a little snippet of what life on board is like for us and for Ernie. Hope you enjoy. Morning. Morning. Where are you going, Ernie? Bets at home. Bets at home. Treats. Bones. Yeah, Toys. Stop. This should be a bit of a laugh. It's not very sociable, unfortunately. So, expect a performance, I would say. Hoping he's going to grow out of it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much for him. Bernie, what toy you chose? Toy. He chose a gorilla, <laughs> and he's got a great big bag of food. <laughs> right, just trying to keep him entertained so he doesn't bark and jump all over the place at the moment, which is going he's all right for the minute. It's going he's all right for the minute, but he does get so scared. Here we go. I've literally made my tea, been greeted with this. An update on the telly. Um, <coughs> we uh, we took the. Oh, sorry, Paul's just chatting to someone. <coughs> Annie and we t we took the. Um, <coughs> <laughs> Ernie, we took the pole, the antenna for the Wi-Fi in yet uh, last week because we didn't want to leave it outside on the magnetic pole. Um, so we got down here yesterday um, and it was already dark. So I just plugged in the Wi-Fi. It's only full signal. The aerial's inside. I'll show you where the aerial is. I've put the aerial here with a plug it's not even outside and it's full signal doesn't even need to go onto the boat i appreciate it will do when we're moving around i get that i get it i get it but for now it's fine we don't even need to drill a hole in our boat which paul i think was a bit nervous about so all good what are you up to then well take seven <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah just marking out the uh center point for the hinges for the kitchen doors are you that's a surprise. Oh, oh yeah. What's that mean then? <laughs> well, we've already oh, done yeah, this. <laughs> so, I've been drilling them out here and then connecting up inside. They basically buy a plumb cut. Uh, so, you sort of go down to the depth of the top of the cutter. <laughs> Obviously, when you first start using these, you're scared stiff you're going to go the right way through. So you have to concentrate on the depth as you do it. So the holes are pre-drilled as you see. So just a simple case of the end square there. Screw started are only small screws, so it's a little cheap, really. Just gives it a little start. Right, it's just a simple way of um, 
positioning the hinges. I've put three mil packer there, just behind that hinge, just behind that hinge there. This is a little sort of trick, really. I'll pull it out. I'll put the screws on there. So, my trusty assistant will now hold the door in position, like so. Probably about there. So we're going flush with the bottom here anyway, so I can feel that that's flush there. Right, so we've got a three mil packer, push the top in against the packer. Yeah, it is, yeah. That's just lovely. So we know that's in the right place now, so. Fire hold here for the screws. doing it that way is you haven't got to do some sort of pattern piece down there do pilot holes etc the door is already in position pre-driller holes hold the hinges in position Pardon? i said i can let go i take it yeah, while you're chatting away so it's already in position so you're not on off on off mucking about like that it's already there so i'm screwed up in one go sort of thing let's hope it works huh? otherwise i'm gonna look stupid right put it these aren't finished painted yet though. This is just the undercoat. Slow closer. The doors are on and I'm now back to grouting. Oh, thank goodness that is finished now and it's all done. It's Friday. We're on the boat. It's around about nine o'clock at night. And my wife is still working on the computer. <laughs> How you doing? Alright. Yeah. Just pop seat so, uh, drugged your dog. So he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> When's this one going to be released? Wednesday. If I don't release it on Tuesday by mistake. What? Oh yeah. Bit of a mistake. This is like. Wednesday. This is being released Wednesday. This is being released the following Wednesday. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. So we are running... Well, it's generally about it's, a, it's about a week, roughly week week We're behind. About a week behind. How are you feeling now? My heart's still thumping. Is it? I should have calmed down by now. Shouldn't I? Honestly, I didn't even have this on my first go. My heart's going. I suppose it's when it's like when you first start driving a car. I don't know. I was young and cocky then. I don't think I, I don't remember my art thumping. You're yet. old and cocky now. <laughs> no, old and less cocky. The thing is, if I think I'm going to get uh, going this place, if I think I'm going to get in trouble. You've got time. I've got reverse. You've got reverse. <laughs> I've got reverse. <laughs> Let's buy a big boat so we've got plenty of room to live on it. Yeah, I excellent think... idea. You get on the canal, you go. God, I wish this boat was half the length. 57, Some not of the half. boats in the marina. Not half, but a 57 one would be nice, yeah. wouldn't it? Some I of think. the boats. You weren't like this the first time. No, no. This isn't good. Is it? No, I'll be alright. I can't do I should have been alright because I, I came into the marina alright last time, so I finished on a high, really. You came out of the marina just now very well. You just went backwards and forwards a bit too many times. You came close to quite a few boats and you controlled it yeah, and you didn't true. hit on your first go that you would have been smacking yeah. you didn't hit any boats in the first go but you did the yeah what's pontoon. it called pontoon whereas this time you were close to quite a few boats there where you'd gone wrong and you didn't hit any of them and you didn't create all that wave that you last time my god no wonder everyone saw us exit because they, their boats must have been like they were on some sort of tidal wave it's been an hour and a half and I've actually settled down a bit now. <laughs> I've done some really good steering just then especially with all the dogs barking away. Trying to concentrate and go past a row of boats on the right and the left hand side on a bend as well with the dogs all yapping into me. Not that ours, is... my, my ad. Actually Ernie didn't bark at all. He did really well, he, he just shook. He's going under shook with 22. Yeah, no, he did really well, really. Yeah. Really well there. Here we 
are at the winding point. Nose is tucked in. Back is coming round. Nicely done. Well done, Paul. You see now what we need to find, obviously, winding points that are big enough for our boat. We have got a lot of room. This is quite a good one, I'm told. It's the only one I know of. It's the only one we've been to, but... And the nose has stayed in. And you can now see we were there. And we we're now. Virtually done it. Look at that. <laughs> He's looking so stressed. He's done so well, though. First time moored up. First ever mooring up. Got it was really good. Right, I jumped off, did the um, centre line. Um, then Ernie jumped, jumped off while still attached to his uh, little hook that he's got on the boat so I chucked him back on with that before he went in the water then I tied up the back rope put while Paul was doing the front so yeah, we just uh, yeah. there she is we're just, uh, <laughs> we're just selecting the next house we're going to buy <laughs> yeah. uh, not. <laughs> um, so we're just going to let Ernie have a quick walk around yeah. and then we might make a cup of tea before we head back I've not had this, this is a new experience for us. I know for yeah, others yeah, no. it, it won't be. It'd be like, okay, yeah, you've got a boat going past. But he's got a double glazing. Obviously, in a marina, you don't get. Yeah, he's got a nice boat. That double is. Double glazing. Poetry in motion. in motion. Nice boat. Yeah. The nice. East is all the way from in there. Patterns. Three boats in a row go past. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your boat? And his first towpath walk, well, officially, he's had loads near where we house live, but, but he's not had a Northampton towpath walk before. Have you, Ernst? No, it's not towpath though, is it? Not a proper one. I just want to walk up to her front. Oh, she's looking very green. Oh, those beautiful curtains. <laughs> it takes seconds to go off course, really. It's quite surprising. Anyone who, who, who's obviously a regular boater will know all this, but anyone who's just learning, you know what I mean? It's just, it takes seconds, even though you're doing like two, three, four mile an hour. It takes seconds to go off course really. So I've stayed a lot better to the right to the hand right. side and followed the contours of the canal. Uh, which means if there is a suddenly a, a boat coming the other way, you were already in a much better position than I, than I was last time. When I, was, I spent a lot of time in the middle last time. This time I've actually stayed on the right. I understand you are supposed to be on the right, obviously, when another boat's passing, but I find it's easier just to stay on the right, so you're already in position, really. That's what I've learned from today. It's Sunday. Always a funny day, Sunday. We, we leave to pack up to go home on Sundays, so it's a funny day because you don't want to start anything too much, but by the same token, you... you you don't want to waste um, the morning, early afternoon, and not do anything. So, um, Paul's outside making the drawers for the kitchen, so we can hopefully get that finished today. When I say finished, it's not going to be finished. We've still got lights to hang in there. Got the um, edging strip for the worktops. Lots of little um, finishing off, snagging. Do they call that snagging? Um, but the majority of the kitchen is done and it'll be a working kitchen with drawers, cupboards, handles, etc. So hopefully get that done today. Um, and I've just cleaned the fireplace behind me. Mm. The surround. There you go. I'll show you another video of that because that probably didn't come out very well. And I'm going to do a second coat on that skirting there because it's shocking. So I'm going to do that.
the drawers are on, we need to decide what colour paint to do, whether to do the matte or the slightly darker black one. And you'll see a sneak peek there of what the chalkboard is looking like. <laughs> Number 10. Being on the water is new to all three of us. And we'll all learn together. Oh, no, you saved the chimney, but... That's a good job. <laughs>